What up, though? It's your boy C. Holla back for the second part of the Adobe Audition tutorial. Now, in this video, I'm about to show y'all really <clears throat> how to get y'all quality really, really good, sounding perfect, or not perfect, but as good as it can. Now, a lot of people tell me I got good quality, and it's because I've been playing around with Adobe Audition since it was Cool Edit Pro. You know, I'm very fluid in the program. I know what all the effects do. I know what everything do. So, and, <clears throat> and it's not rocket science. The only thing you have to do is really be hands-on in this program. I mean, that's why I use this program. I would like to use um, Pro Tools, you know. So I recommend using Pro Tools, anybody. Honestly, I would recommend people, I would make a, recommend you use Pro Tools. But I got a 64-bit system, so Pro Tools is not compatible with my system right now. I'm running with Windows Vista, but um, Pro Tools is not compatible on a 64-bit processor. So, I mean, I'm stuck with Adobe Audition, and I'm just fine with that because this is what I started on. This is what I've been recording on since day one. But anyway, now... Like I said, if you did everything I did in my first video, you should be ready to record. You check your vocals, you bust your tracks, and you got all your tracks ready. Now, <clears throat> what I remember what I told y'all about busting the tracks. You want to have make sure you got your compressor, your deesser, and sometimes I like to record with a studio reverb, but it really depends on what kind of song I'm doing. And for this particular song, I did a studio. I used the studio reverb. Now this song right here, this is a song that I'm actually working on. I'm really putting my all into this song, and this is going. I'm gonna try to work on another song that I did just for this tutorial. But for now, we are gonna focus on this song. So you got every, you got all your effects in Bus B. Now, at the bottom, all your but all your tracks, every last track on this on the mixer is gonna say master. Master, this is what it's going to say. Now, I want you to bust your first track, which should be the beat. I want you to bust that one to bust A. Now, after you do that, every track after the beat, I want you to bust to bust B. I want you to do that for every one of these tracks. Every one. After you do that, you're ready to record. Now... The way my computer set up, I can't record and do this, record my screen at the same time. So I took the luxury of recording some vocals for y'all beforehand. Now, like I said, I didn't edit none of my vocals. Only thing I did was recorded my vocals with my effects in Buzz B. And that was all. So... After you record all your vocals, this is my hook right here. You usually want to record the hook first or whatever. You want after you do that, you want to hear what you got. So we gonna listen to what we got. Now let's listen to this right quick. Okay, this shit is too easy. I told him just stop it. A nigga blasting off. Something like a rocket. I'm all about my money. I'm all about my profit. I told him I should have a fucking bucket at all right, as you can see, we got some we got some good vocals. And the only thing I didn't edit none of my vocals. The only thing I did to my vocals was went in and erased some the noise, the background noise in the beginning of the uh, of the vocals. Now you always want to do that. You want to make sure you just get the background noise only. Now for those of you that record in the soundproof booth, you shouldn't really have to worry about that. But just like, but for those who record in the room, in your bedroom or anything like that, you usually gonna have some background noise. So you always want to make sure you take all of that background noise out. You want to highlight. Let's pretend we got background noise here. You want to highlight that. You want to hit the mute button. You want to hit mute. You want to go to the end. You want to hit mute. Now, as I said earlier, I didn't use any effects. I didn't use no effects for this. And as you can see, we got some quality vocals. And another thing I like to say, when a lot of people like to use the noise reduction, 
I don't recommend you to use the noise reduction and I'm about to explain to y'all why because the noise reduction it really it kind of really distorts the vocals sometimes and honestly it's just better for you to not use it and just do it the old-fashioned way and to just mute the vocals from the beginning but if you did want to use the noise reduction which I don't recommend you doing you want to go to capture noise profile go to restoration noise reduction then you want to click select entire file and then you want to hit the OK button but I'm not about to do it I don't recommend it it messes the vocals up sometimes more times than not now for another thing to get to get your vocals to sound really really clear really really full you always want to make sure you record your hook three times you want to record your hook three times in the second the second and third one you want to pan them to the left and right speaker I pan my second one negative 50 and then I pan my third one 50 so you always want to make sure you pan your vocals your hook vocals especially the hook you want to make sure you record them three times and you pan them and you and whenever you if I pan this 50 I always got to pan the other one 50 also now another thing that I do to get my vocals to sound really really clear is I always make sure that I look I check my meters now this is another reason for busting the tracks now we gonna listen to this again and I want y'all to pay attention to these meters you wanna you always when and when you bust the tracks don't look at these meters because these meters won't tell you exactly where it's at you wanna look at the bus meters look at the bus meters so we gonna play this again and I'm, I want y'all to pay attention to these meters over here Okay, shit's too easy. I told him just stop it. A nigga blasting off. Something like a rocket. I'm all about my money. I'm all about my profit. I told okay. Him. Now notice how my beat was not in the red or in the orange. And that notice that my vocals was also not in the red and the orange and the green. Notice how those two, those vocals were in the green. Now this is very, very, very important. If you guys don't learn anything from my tutorials, this is definitely what I want y'all to really pay attention to because a lot of people the reason why their vocals don't sound as clear or they don't sound you know they don't sound quality is because they levels is not right now I'm about to just I'm about to uh, play to y'all I'm about to mess with these levels a little bit and I'm about to show y'all how messed up the vocals can get okay all right now as you can see if your levels is off your music it won't sound right so the first thing you want to do is always make sure that none of your not, nothing is clipping nothing is clipping and that's the luxury that and that's what the bus really does it gives you the 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 opportunity it gives you the opportunity to control the volume of all your vocals instead of you having to go through and individually control them now for another thing now another way that you can get your vocals to sound pretty clear is you could go to EQ and the EQ I like to use is spit clear I like to use spit clear so you can use the spit clear I don't want to use the spit clear for this vocal because I'm pretty satisfied at where it is right now but you always want to make sure that now you want to make sure that you use that if you're not too sure about the quality of your of your vocals. You want to make sure you use that. Another thing is you can you also can control the EQ from the mixer, but if you're not a, a expert at this, then I don't recommend you to mess with the EQ. You really could kind of throw the uh, vocals off a little bit you you know what I'm saying so I don't recommend you to mess with that okay and then one more thing I wanted to show y'all is how to add the effects now as y'all can see on this one I got echoes on these particular tracks the reason why I didn't put the echo in the bus is because I didn't want my other vocals to have that effect on them so if you want to isolate 
a track, say for instance, you just want one of your vocals to have an echo on it, don't put that effect in the bus. Go to the track and individually put the echo in there. Go to the track and individually put the echo in there. Echo, and then you would choose the echo you want. And that's the way you would do that. <clears throat> and you are you want to do that. You usually want to do that for like a reverb, an echo, or anything like an auto tune. You want to use that specifically just on a track. You never want to use those in a bus. It's just it just won't you know it just it's just not gonna do it. All right, another thing is people ask me how to get the hook, how to mix the file on and make the hook. Now to do that, you wanna go. You want to select all the files. You want to hit bounce to new track. You want to hit selected audio clips. And you want to hit stereo. Now what that's going to do is going to compress all your files together into one big file. And then there you go. You got your hook. There you go. And then if you wanted to make one of, more than one of these, you would go to duplicate. You would say you would hit duplicate two times. Hit no gaps. And now you got two more of those now, as you can see I already did this down here already <clears throat> so I don't have to do that that's already done for me but that's how you uh that's how you make the hook now I mean basically to get the quality that's all you have to do to get the quality good I mean you don't have to go in here and use a billion um files or anything like that you don't have to use noise reduction hiss reduction none of that you always you only thing you want to make sure you do is record make sure that you recording with your compressor and your deesser and then you can go in and throw a little reverb or echo here and there or you can use the spit clear EQ like I said earlier but if you want clear vocals I mean that's pretty much all you gotta do now I'm about to make a part three video um for the other song that I did and if anybody got any questions or anything then you can put them in my comment you can inbox me um I mean I know a lot of y'all probably surprised but yeah I mean this is all you have to do to make sure that your quality is good just make sure you record with your effects that's the most important thing really that I could tell anybody and to watch the levels, watch the mixer. These levels here, they're here for a reason, you know. They're here for a reason, so you really got to pay attention to those. So I'm going to come back with a uh, part three video from my next song. And in my part three video, I want to uh, uh, take a couple questions, um, do some things, answer some questions. Anything that I didn't do that anybody had, may have a question about, if I missed anything, so make sure y'all hit me up so I can make this part three video. And um, I hope I've been a help to y'all. Peace out.